everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions as we are concluding our sermon series, Fresh Start for 2022. And this week, as we are thinking about dressing for success, how do we prepare ourselves to realize the dreams that God has for us in our lives, to walk faithfully with God through the times which may or may not be full of success, and how we can posture ourselves, if you will, uh, tailor our lives in such a way that we can realize God's movement in our lives and leading so that we can make decisions that lead us toward a life that God intends. Today, we're thinking about crock pots. So um, (laughs) what does it have to do with dressing for success, you may ask? Well, Uh, One of the things that I discovered during this last two years, this season of COVID, when I started doing things on a lot slower schedule, one of the things that I learned about was using the crock pot. Now, many of you have been using them for years. I have not, but since I have been at home and I've been doing more meal preparation, I've been discovering uh, new ways and new dishes to cook one of them being a pot roast. Now, I really had never made a pot roast before. I can't believe that. I'm 63 years old. But I have learned that the the secret behind a good pot roast is cooking it slow. Cooking it slow, marinating it, getting it at a searing it to begin with and then putting it in for a slow cook at a low temperature. So we know that if we try it, that everything tastes better when it cooks slow. Um, So um, Matthew 25, I want us to think about a story that comes from Matthew 25. Um, It's the parable of uh, Jesus giving the three servants the same amount or the master, not the same amount, but three amounts to invest while the master goes away. And we know two of the three make plans for doubling their investment. One of them just buries it in the ground because it's the safe thing to do. It's the fast thing to do. And um, the, the, of course, the end of that uh, passage talks about that to whom much is given, much is required, but also those who produce a harvest over time are entrusted with more. When we think we are um, ready to fulfill God's calling in our lives, we need to think the long road. We need to think the long road. Um, I didn't get that in early ministry. I thought I had to start off with a great sprint. And um, I came to realize that over time, God does that marinating in my life but also in the dreams that God has and has had for my life. And so we always realize, too, that during that time of waiting and during that time of marinating, often we go through struggle, often we go through pain. But before the resurrection, we remember in Jesus' own life, there was the crucifixion, there was suffering, there was pain. And That sometimes is hard for us. We don't want to experience pain. We don't want to experience hardship. We don't want to experience the slow cooking of our faith. And yet that's exactly what happens in our lives of faith. That's why forming faith every day is so important, friends. It's not a one and done. It's just slowly, continually practicing our disciplines that lead us into that place where we see God at work in our lives and in our world. So some questions that I have for us today as we're thinking about our lives, where are we trying to rush God in the process? Are you seeing the potential and the possibility in what you already have? Um, And what can you do to be more faithful in your current circumstances? I want to leave us with a passage of scripture from Uh, The letter that Paul wrote to the Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 9. He writes, So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give 
up. So today and tomorrow and the next day and the next, let us continue to do what we need to do to form faith every single day, to pray to God, to open our eyes, to see what God is doing, and to have faith that what God has promised, God will bring about in due time. May it be so in your life and in mine. Amen and amen.